Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this, the Tuesday, the 23rd of March, 2021. I'm Reverend Anne. I am vicar here in the parish of Luton, St Anne with St Christopher and with us we have Diane Scott, the lay reader for the parish this morning. Diane will be aiding us in uh, morning prayer. She will be making the responses. And so I invite you to join with her in those responses and praying the Psalms and Canticles and Tiffany. We will be using our Red Prayer Book and our service will begin on page 238. That's the Church of England's Prayer Book. If you haven't got access to that book, you may find the service on the Church of England website or on the Church of England Daily Prayer app. But if you haven't got any of those, that's okay. Let's just arrive, still our hearts, and place our day, our lives, in the hands of God. So let's pause for a moment as we prepare to pray. O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Yeah, our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, Sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. So that you are justified in your sentence, and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And so we turn to Psalm 35 on page 696. The refrain for this morning's psalm is, Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Contend, O Lord, with those that contend with me. Fight against those that fight against me. Take up shield and buckler and rise up to help me. Draw the spear and bar the way against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those who seek after my life be shamed and disgraced. Let those who plot my ruin fall back and be put to confusion. 
set and be as chaff before the wind. And the angel of the Lord thrusting them down. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. For they have secretly spread a net for me without a cause. Without any cause have they dug a pit for my soul. Let ruin come upon them unawares. Let them be caught in the net they laid. Let them fall in it to their destruction. Then will my soul be joyful in the Lord. The glory are in his salvation. My very bones will say, Lord, who is like you? You deliver the poor from those that are too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who would despoil them. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. False witnesses rose up against me. They charged me with things I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the desolation of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, I put on ash sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. When my prayer returned empty to my bosom, it was as though I grieved for my friend or brother. I behaved as one who mourns for his mother, bowed down and brought very low. Give me justice, O Lord my God according to your righteousness. But when I stumbled, they gathered in delight, they gathered together against me. As if they were strangers I did not know, they tore at me without ceasing. When I fell, they mocked me. They gnashed at me with their teeth. O oh Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue my soul from their ravages, and my poor life from the young lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you in the mighty throng. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Do not let my treacherous foes rejoice over me, or those who hate me without a cause mock me with their glances. For they do not speak of peace, but invent deceitful schemes against those that are quiet in the land. They opened wide their mouths and derided me, saying, We have seen it with our very eyes. This you have seen, O Lord. Do not keep silent. Go not far from me, O Lord. Awake, arise to my cause. To my defence, my Lord and my God. Give me justice, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness. Let them not triumph over me. Give me justice, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness. Let them not say to themselves, our heart's desire. Let them not say, we have swallowed him up. Let all who rejoice at my trouble be put to shame and confusion. Let those who boast against me be clothed with shame and dishonour. Let those who favour my cause rejoice and be glad. Let them say always, Great is the Lord, who delights in his servant's well-being. So shall my tongue be talking of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Free us, righteous God, from all oppression and bring justice to the nations that all the world may know you as King of kings 
and Lord of Lords, now and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. And we listen now to our first reading from Holy Scripture, coming today from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 22. Thus says the Lord God, go down to the house of the king of Judah and speak there this word and say, hear the word of the Lord, O king of Judah, sitting on the throne of David, you and your servants and your people who enter these gates. Thus says the Lord, act with justice and righteousness and deliver from the hand of the oppressor anyone who has been robbed and do no wrong or violence to the alien the orphan and the widow nor shed innocent blood in this place for if you will indeed obey this word then through the gates of this house shall enter kings who sit on the throne of david riding in chariots and on horses they and their servants and their people but if you will not heed these words, I swear by myself, says the Lord, that this house shall become a desolation. Woe to him who builds his house by unrighteousness and his upper rooms by injustice, who makes his neighbours work for nothing and does not give them their wages, who says, I will build myself a spacious house with large upper rooms and who cuts out windows for it, panelling it with cedar and painting it with vermilion. Are you a king because you compete in cedar? Did not your father eat and drink and do justice and righteousness? Then it was well with him. He judged the cause of the poor and needy then it was well. Is not this to know me, says the Lord, but your eyes and heart are only on your dishonest gain, for shedding innocent blood and for practicing oppression and violence. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah, they shall not lament for him, saying, Alas, my brother, or alas, sister, they shall not lament for him, saying, Alas, Lord, or alas, his majesty. With the burial of a donkey he shall be buried, dragged off and thrown out beyond the gates of Jerusalem. And as we pause, we turn to page 252 for our canticle. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High. Who is this that comes from Edom? Coming from Bosra, his garments stained crimson. Who is this in his glorious apparel, marching in the greatness of his strength? It is I who announce that right has won the day. It is I, says the Lord, for I am mighty to save. Why are your robes all red, O Lord, and your garments like theirs who tread the winepress? I have trodden the winepress alone, and from the peoples no one was with me. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High. All that God has done for us in his mercy, by his many acts of love. For God said, Surely they are my people, my children who will not deal falsely. And he became their saviour in all their distress. 
So God redeemed them by his love and pity. He lifted them up and carried them through all the days of old. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High. And so we listen to the Gospel according to St John, chapter 11, beginning at verse 45. Many of the Jews, therefore, had come with Mary and had seen what, when G, what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what he had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the council and said, What are we to do? This man is performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him and the Romans will come and destroy both our holy place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was the high priest that year, said to them, you know nothing at all. You do not understand that it is better for you to have one man die for the people than to have the whole nation destroyed. He did not say this on his own, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus was about to die for the nation and not for the nation only, but to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day, they planned to put him to death. Jesus therefore no longer walked about openly among the Jews but went from there to a town called Ephraim in the region near the wilderness, and he remained there with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They were looking for Jesus and were asking one another as they stood in the temple, what do you think? Surely he will not come to the festival, will he? Now the chief priests and the Pharisees had given orders that anyone who knew where Jesus was should let them know so that they might arrest him. So we come to our responsory on page 253. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. We preach Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation 
by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. So we come to our prayers of intercession. Heavenly Father, we draw before you this morning, thankful of your presence among us, thankful that you have given us another day to serve you, another day to be your hands and feet in this, your world, your creation. And so, Heavenly Father, we hold before you all that this day will bring. On this day of our National Day of Remembrance, for all the memories that would be brought into sharper focus this day. For all that has been good and all that has challenged us about this past year. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer with faith and love and in union with Christ. We offer our prayer before the throne of grace. Have mercy on your people for whom your son laid down his life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bring healing and wholeness to people and nations. Have pity on those torn apart by division. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Strengthen all who are persecuted for your name's sake and deliver them from evil. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Look in mercy upon all who suffer And hear those who cry out in pain and desolation. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bring comfort to the dying. And to gladden our hearts with the vision of your glory. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Give rest to the departed and bring them with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Let us commend the world for which Christ died to the mercy and protection of God. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross as our Saviour taught us, so together we pray. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May Christ who bore our sins on the cross set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much everyone for joining us this morning. We will join together again at 11.30 when we pray together today for the National Day of Reflection. And included in that will be the one minute silence at 12 noon. And so I look forward to get, greeting you again at 11.30 as we pray together. God bless you and see you later. <laughs>